finish your SH101 synthesizer. We are going to make an the interface through our modules, and package it up to work as a single abstraction, so that you can easily drop it into any patch. The first painful, painful thing we need to do is to make sure our send names, receive names, and array names are all unique. This ensures that if we wanted to version to our synthesizer in one patch, they would not interfere with each other. To do this, we use the special dollar not symbol which guarantees a unique name. First, let's do the send and receive objects on the app level in a patch. You might want to copy the dollar not into the clipboard and then paste. Now let's do the VCO module. Here, we need to make sure we do all the arrays, all the tab read objects, all the messages that reference the array. We need to do this for the square, triangle, and so we have some patches. That should be it now. We have deliberately no used send and receive since our modules to avoid mere trouble. Now we can lay out our modules to look like the actual Roland interface. Modulator, then VCO, then Source Mixer, VCF, VCA, and Envelope. Then let's add a slider for the portable control. Add an inlet at the top, and routing to the portamento on the left control inlet of our modules. This means we can control any aspect for the outside. This is all going to go into one big sub patch. So replace your DAC with an audio outlet. The final outlet here is the overflow for the root object. This will be for packed MIDI note messages that include pitch and velocity. Therefore, we unpack. We use strip note to avoid note half messages causing problems with the pitch. Then convert the frequency and pass this on to the VCO. As before, we divide the velocity by 127 and send it on to the envelope. Now we are going to make the whole thing into an interface with a graph on parent function. Faff around with the sizes and margins until you have got your red box neatly framing all your modules and the bottom and row slider. Now save this as a patch, like sh101.pd. Oh yes, we are nearly there now. 
Create a new patch and save it into your working directory as something new like tester.pd or something. I'm going to paste in the note testing sub patch that we made in the earlier tutorial and adapt it to send on pack MIDI notes. Now, create an SH101 object. You should hopefully see your entire synth appear in the patch with the interface and everything. We should be able to just add an audio output DAC object and have the synth work straight away. If you didn't know how anything straight away, make sure you turn up some sliders for things in this horse mixer, and a VCF cut off frequency. the incredible force to include two for messages to any interface item, we can easily send messages to the patch to change things dynamically. in your root objects in the sub patches. We should just test the idea that we can have as many synths as we like to. This may be a bit of a mess because I'm in such a wee patcher, but you will have more space for this. I'm adding another note generating part here so that we get two sets of MIDI notes. Now add another SH101. And turn up the mixer and filter to check you have something. your process of complaints. I'm guessing you can easily have 5 to 10 of these bad boys without your CPU whinging too much. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and that you do some good things with it. Later, pal.